Every day, three tons of wood are consumed as fuel at this prison in Meru, Kenya. That's 90 tons a month just for cooking food for 1,400 inmates here. There are 92 prisons in Kenya, almost all of them using wood as the main source of energy in their kitchens. But Meru Prison is now using ingenuity to save fuel wood and do its part in preventing destruction of forests here. Kenya has less than 2% forest cover and the depletion rate is alarming. With technical support from the German government, Meru Prison has developed an alternative and sustainable energy system, a pilot project using biogas generated from human and animal waste. The waste enters the main digester, gas is produced that is linked to the kitchen, whereby we also generate organic manure because upon the generation of the sludge, it will cut the cost, cost of fuel, whereby when we start using it, the cost of firewood will be minimized to zero. And once the project is complete, it is going to save the government a lot of money. Pit latrines have been dug and connected to the main digester and buffer chambers, a system that will alleviate the problem of sewage disposal. And there are plans to bring waste from other sources, like slaughterhouses, to this digester. The prison is also developing other sustainable systems that will save money and natural resources. There's a fish farming project using extracts from the biogas digester, waste from livestock, and scraps from the kitchen to feed the fish. There's a natural spring here, and authorities say the water is safe for human consumption. There are plans to bottle it or pipe it to nearby consumers. Some water irrigates a small prison farm and fills the fish ponds and some of it goes to a processing plant that pipes it to the inmates in the prison blocks. All of this saves the prison a great deal of money that would otherwise be paid to the local water authority. The prison has also built new diversion toilets for a project to produce farm fertilizer. The fecal part of it goes on a separate chamber, whereas the urine is linked to another channel. At the moment you use this kind of latrine, you reap the benefit of using manure and also you don't buy fertilizer from other manufacturers. When the biogas project becomes operational, it will be the first of its kind among the prisons in Kenya. Other prisons are considering similar plans. For conservationists, this kind of sustainable retrofitting is an encouraging model for what Kenya needs on a wide scale to save its forests and other natural resources. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.